हेलो होल्ड ऑन एलिसन ओ माय गॉड hello how Hi, are Annie. you i'm good I'm what good. are you doing here oh you know <laughs> i was like, hanging out yeah 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 i like and you got my email that i was running behind or did i send yes. it to the wrong person no that was fine yep thank you for was the okay? heads up yeah okay you're welcome yeah it was um i had some, my first client was in kenya oh. and we had a very hard time getting connected internet wise and so yeah. it just kind of like shoved everything back all so, good okay so let me go ahead and get into my little stage you already know how we do this um it's mm -hmm. the whole thing hang on and maybe that is why maybe that's why because i've already interesting so there was a feeling of familiarity going in from my last session to this one and it makes sense as to why now oh on. who are you just what weird Weird. Just to confirm, you don't have a brother, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I know of. No. Oh no. No, you would know of this one. It would be a whole thing. They're talking about somebody. They. They. This is. Somebody's talking about. It's almost like somebody is from back in the nineties, which is weird. Because they keep showing me a character off a of Boy Meets World over and over again. Which, if you remember what any of that show yeah. is, maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. um but i don't know why so maybe i was thinking about oh maybe there's a brother here or something and then they keep saying no so why would they bring up a character like that i have no idea why um hold on. let me see and i don't think any of them passed in the 90s so that would be the only other reason as to why they're saying what are you doing Somebody is walking around you right now, and I'm just trying to feel them out. Come on. So there's an energy here that just keeps essentially buzzing back and forth, like beside you and around you. And they keep, like, was it rainy there yesterday where you're at? No. Okay. They're talking about all they do like this is essentially it's almost like they're walking and, and they go, oh, it's just a nice sunny day outside. I said, yeah, there's light in here. And that for me would mean like maybe like the weather is really crappy yesterday or like something going on. I don't know why they'd be talking about that. Um, they're also saying that, tell me, hold on, get out and go. Hold on. Why, 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 why? Hold on. What? interesting they're just trying to maybe it's about like you are pretty active though right you go out and run or you go out yeah yeah maybe that's about it so i don't i don't go out and exercise or anything like that and i think maybe they're talking about how nice it is and because i can't my joints fall apart and so do you actually go yeah. out and like run or go to the gym and stuff like that uh i've picked that up more recently yeah well i walk in my office with a treadmill under my oh. desk but i walk the neighborhood with my family and we do some outdoor activities and stuff oh look at you being all good okay yeah so i would <laughs> have to say that's where that kind of comes into play they're 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 saying like out and about goes out and about and i'm like what do you mean and they keep showing front yard backyard all this stuff and i'm like nobody does that anymore i'm like maybe they're trying to say get out of your office some i don't know but they're literally trying to talk about what that is they're saying especially i guess now that it's warmer and it's good um they're talking about how what tell me um, oh. come here uh i think there's a gentleman here and he's hold on 
Hold on. I guess he wouldn't really be able to bend down or pick things up. Um, he's talking about like difficulties in it because he's talking about like if somebody got I, if I didn't have this couch here, I would show you exactly what he's doing, but you won't be able to see <laughs> me at all. Um, he essentially, I said, so what are you doing? He says, oh, I want to go out there with him. I want to do this. He says, oh, but you know, they don't really play ball or anything. And he says, you know, it'd be really hard if they did, because I would just walk up to it and be like, oh, and to like try to pick it up. But I go, oh, okay. Um, so we're going to go the route uh, instead of me asking like who this is what are you doing we're just going to go on the route right now of they're okay. in your life and they're going to want me to tell you what they do with you right now they're okay. why why are your calves so little why he says he didn't think they're that little um I guess when you don't use them a whole lot, um, but but they're tan. They look nice. Um, he says bigger up. But he's talking about getting bigger up here. But like his little he's wearing boat shoes in my head for some reason. I have no idea why or like like slip ins that you don't have to tie. And he. What? Did you? You're so weird. Not you. Um, he's talking about. <laughs> did he ever actually like try cigars but like wasn't a smoker is that a thing you he was a know? heavy smoker but he, he did not do cigars yeah he did cigars okay okay he's walking around he has like a highball glass and he has a of something and he has like a cigarette but to me it looks like a cuban cigar and i'm like okay now we're getting the boat shoes and cubans, it might have right? been and he, yeah yeah, yeah. He's walking around and he goes, uh, but it's like in one hand. So it's like hanging off the cup. And uh, he goes, oh, you know, this is what I do now. But, you know, shouldn't smoke or like don't like the smoke or something. And I go, oh, OK, this is all feelings. He's not talking in words yeah. at all. So this is kind of like and he what? He says he still has a belly button. I've never had anybody tell me that before. That's so weird. But why? Maybe he's talking about like all the um, swelling or something he was getting in his abdominal cavity, I guess, because he's talking about why. I guess he I mean, not I guess he, he says, like, I love her. I love her. I love her. Um, hold on. And so you will not touch a cigarette, though, or anything? Not anymore. Ah, good job. <laughs> he says that you're straight. He says she's got, got. I go, good, good, good. Because um, a lot of times if, if the other person does smoke, they will come out and they will sit with you on like a porch and they will do it with you. Okay. That's so and um, he just, uh huh. he says that he doesn't have a smoking buddy with you. I go, oh, okay. And he says that. Oh, wow. Oh, no wonder. So you first started trying them when you were like 15 or 16. Yes. <laughs> You're a bad thing. Look at you. Okay. I said, uh, so I'm just asking him. I said, uh, uh, I go, so what about her? How long has she smoked? What's going on? I said, you know, I tried it behind the dumpster a couple of times. He goes, oh, no, no. I was gave her a bad habit at, a, at an early start. And I said, what? And then he talks about like being in high school. And I was like, ah, I understand you now. And um, he says, but what are you going to do? He has this very like, bl like fun, but slightly strict, but, but blase type of parenting, like, you know, like that. And uh, let's say he's talking about how he was. He, he, you are his favorite person though. You are his absolute favorite person in my brain right now. I don't know why, just that why he, it is. Hold on. Hang on. He just keeps saying, you're my girl though. That's all he keeps saying. And Oh, maybe not back then. Maybe not back then. Hold yeah. on. Why? He says he has to like keep your ass in line. I wonder if you keep your butt in line though. He's being very um talkative and very happy. If you've noticed that everything he talks about is very happy, is very light, is very fun. And so for me, because you know you've always studied with me and been with me before. So for me, yeah. this would mean that either he's trying to smooth everything over and say everything is OK. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like almost like it's too good to be true. Um, 
show me that sign. Show me that sign. And my earring is making my ear itch. Um, one. Why? Tell me about that. He keeps saying the word fuck a lot. Um, oh. Why? Over and over and over again. Um, maybe it's frustration and health. Maybe it's frustration with what was going on. I think he may be like building that up. Hold on. Where? Why? Weird. Was your mother really frustrated with him? Yeah. Like, all I heard somebody, um, okay, super frustrated. She goes, I I wasn't even inviting anybody in. And all I hear is, oh, or like, oh, Dom, or oh, Kevin, like just that type of feeling. And she's talking about, or somebody's talking about how, like, it's exhausting. Get off of it or something like that. They're, but they did love each other. They were like madly in love for like a little bit, weren't they? They they were, yeah, because they feel like they are kindred souls. They feel like like one cannot exist without the other, but in in like a yin and yang way, like exactly, you like know, that. yeah, that's what they yeah. they exist like this. That's how they feel in my head, and. He says, oh, you know you love me. That sounds That's like the him. vibe. <laughs> All the way. And she yeah. just, yeah, like that. At a one, 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 one. So now we would have both of them. So somebody just introduced themselves by saying like, oh, you're talking shit, essentially. Not you, him. And tell me. There it is. Interesting. So you do not have a text that says, I love you, Dad. On your phone? I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I might. I haven't deleted any of the messages. Okay. This is what he says. He says, I said, so what do you, um, what do you want to talk about? And he says, well, well, well. And he says, I wish there would have been or I wish there was more of I love you, dad. And uh -huh. he just says, like, better conversation. And he gives me this almost like aggressive feeling. Um, And he says that it wasn't you and him. I guess didn't text back piles of mush. It yeah. was either being very annoying or like aggressive or like not at all and then it's almost like when we said i love you dad maybe it was like a little bit too late or it was like at the very 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 end process or something like that like it's that's all he keeps saying and he's talking about how he wishes that middle area would have been filled with more good and less horseshit mm -hmm. um and he apologizes for that. He does call you his girl. He does love you. You are his favorite. And do you know why? Because he's learning. Mm. He's learning. And why? You are like him. I hate to tell you this. You are like him. Um, not in a bad way, but just like everything else that you may not want to be like, you are. That's <laughs> why. Um, you don't, yeah. He must have a lot of Gemini in him somewhere because he has like a Leo Gemini energy somewhere. You'd have to look at his chart later because he has that talkative, fun, charismatic. But then it's like, oh, my God, which is like very Leo. And he, what? Tell me. Where are you going? What are you talking? And so you're married right now, though? Me? Or like you're in, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm married. Yeah, okay, okay. He goes like this. He says, um, I said, so what do you do? He says, hang around here. He's walking around in this house. And he says, oh, he says, I check out her hunk a hunk of burn in love. And I go, what are you talking about? And she says, husband. And for me, that's like being married. And um, I go, um, 
I said, so what do you think? And he says, tell him I go in the shower, just like joking. So he's like trying to make like some weird, funny joke, which is fine. And he <laughs> likes them. He likes them. Um, why? Don't be a pushover. Don't be a pushover. I think he's like talking about him though, mainly or this. I don't think he is. I don't, I don't know. That's just his words. And why? Oh, interesting. He shows you with a bouquet, bouquet, bouquet um, mm -hmm. of flowers. Did you not have like an actual wedding wedding? I did. He was he was at my wedding. Yeah, that's the bouquet. Okay, yeah. He shows a bouquet of flowers. Or are you coming up on like a 10-year milestone or something? What's the bouquet of flowers about? Uh, that could be rather loaded. So he just celebrated okay. a birthday, uh, March 9th. My mom's birthday was yesterday. And mine yes. is on the 31st. Yes. Oh. And my kids oh. brought flowers home yesterday because we celebrated okay. her. Yeah. Yes, that's that. Thank you. Yeah, he, he kept showing me this boot and, and it wasn't. Um, And I said, what are these for? He said, no wedding. Because, you know, when you hold a bouquet of flowers for a bride, he says, it's not a wedding. And I was like, wait, so she didn't have a wedding? I thought she did. That's where I got with that. And so yeah. he's talking about the flowers that you just got and all of that. And he because he's here. Hold on. says i'm so beautiful you know that right like they're talking back and forth and she she has a different energy about her mm. he's funny he's like a tell me your 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 mom is like your right hand person um your mom is like your right hand person she says oh we would sit there and we'd shoot the shit or we'd sit there and we'd just talk. And I go, oh, really? And she says, tell her I still sit there with her. Um, she tells you that you have too much stress. I mean, obviously, when you have a family, duh, that's a thing. He, she says, you have too much stress. Release your tension. That's how she feels in my brain. And I said, oh, okay, I'll tell her that. She says that, what? God, if you're doing all right, girl, God, give yourself a break. That's all she keeps saying. And interesting. She says, you have the world, you have the cake, and you're eating it too. Enjoy it right now. Enjoy it right now. And I've never had that phrase come across. What, 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 what? Apparently, you haven't gone, like, on an actual date with your husband in a while. Okay. Yeah, I said, she goes, she says, tell her she needs to liven it up. And I said, what do you mean? She says, go on a date. Hasn't happened in a while. You should work on that. Okay, so please talk about that. And okay. why? What, what? So, no. Uh, your father would give her roses, but was she like a daisy person? She was not a roses person. Yeah. yeah. So she keeps saying, she says, he would get me roses, but you know, and then she shows me like, uh, for some reason it's like white and yellow for some reason. And so I, for, what is, what is that? I don't, I don't know. For me, she likes, daisy. she likes what? daffodils. Oh, yellow daffodils. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, we we don't have those in my area ever. I've never actually seen one of those. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she showed me the white with the yellow on the inside. Um, And she says that, tell me. Oh, aren't they beautiful? She, like, has daffodils now. They just, like, randomly showed up. And what? Why are you showing me that? So with your with your mom, she showed me a dirt pile. Um, did we end up cremating her? Not her. We cremated oh. my dad, um, and we just buried him. You broke ground, dirt pile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, really? 
yeah, my dad has been cremated for three years and my mom went in first and we just now buried my dad with her. She showed me like if somebody broke ground and there's a little, she's showing me like if there's like a dug up grave and like the ground, it's not settled because it's just dirt. And she says this sorry dirt pile. And I go, what? And then she shows me ashes and I'm like, okay. And what is up with the headstone? What is up with the marker? <sighs> What's going on with that? That's what she's talking about. So say so that they have both passed for several yeah. years. We yeah. just got the grave marker in the ground within the last week. We had to bury my dad first <laughs> and we coordinated the grave marker to go in. And we've been getting a lot of flack from siblings saying, where is it? Where is it? They've been gone for so long. And we just put it in the ground. It was just the thing. Because it was it just was, a little card. <clears throat> no, it was a it was a full like plaque but it's take it literally had just gone in my sister went to the grave yesterday um brought flowers and she <laughs> sent me a picture saying it's finally in so I found out yesterday oh well they know they yeah. know today okay oh my god let, let me can I let me just show you because you you learned from me right at the same yeah. time hold on let me just see if I can find um uh wait 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 I've never seen that um uh oh no. Let's see. Uh man. We'll see if I can find it and send it to you. I am trying to, you know, I will just go out to the freaking cemetery next to us and I will show you. She showed me exactly what that was and it was the size of an urn it wasn't a long thing it was just yeah yeah good job thank you thank you thank you and what stevie nicks what's that <laughs> sorry that's just what is that <laughs> we used to listen to fleetwood mac and stevie nicks all the time oh, oh. Wow. Okay. Yes. Can I tell you, I don't know one song and she just really? put in, no, well, because remember, I don't listen to music a whole lot. I listen to a lot of classical and yeah. so I'll have to go listen to it now. But, um, the only reason she showed me this is because there was a line at, um, free people or Nordstrom's or something like that. And it said inspired by Stevie Nicks. And so she brought up that clothing line. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Yeah. So uh huh. So she's still doing it, and she she when she shakes her hair moves, she gets all like passionate about it, and she her boobs. What about your boobs? Um, huh? What took you out? She like made her bed, I guess, when she crossed over or something. She's talking about it was going to get me someday. You know, it just it just took me out like she knew it, I guess, or she knew something was going on. I don't know. And she's saying. And maybe she had like a gut feeling that she was going to die because she keeps saying we all know, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's all she's she's giving me that mm -hmm feeling. And why? Shit, baby, why you got to do me like that? Um, weird. Did they end? Did she end up passing like in a hospital gown? Yes. Or what is like the? Oh, okay, okay, because she says she's not wearing pants. Yeah. And yeah, and she's talking about. Now this, I'm so sorry we're bringing this up. She's not talking about necessarily what was going on with her, I guess, in this hospital or in this gown. She's talking about what they did with her body afterwards and how they cut the gown off of her. Mm. And don't ask me why. I don't know where this is. Maybe this is like prepping or something like that. Um, but she's talking about that and how weird it is. And she's talking about her boobs. And she's like, oh, my God, do you know that they do this stuff? I was like, no, they I had no idea. Um, what? Uh, 
um so you were by your mom like around her a lot like before she crossed you yeah she says oh her poor little mom her poor little mom oh she's here she's here tell her i love her okay i will she says she was around um her greasy hair oh had her gray like really grown out she says okay i go what about this she had somebody go up and do this and she made me feel my hair right here and she says i looked like shit and i said oh tell me it's <laughs> like this but she talks about it growing out and i go oh i got you she says you don't have to look at me like that i, I don't have to either you're right um oh my gosh that is amazing yeah uh -huh. she says i said what are you doing she says in heaven it is what it is and i go oh she's like it's good uh but that's how she's talking and She's talking about hearing about the things that like that I I do. So like this mediumship stuff. And she's talking about stuff like that. She says, oh, you know, I hear about the things that like you stuff do, you know. I don't know. But she's how I said, oh, OK. She says, interesting, interesting. So she's talking <laughs> about sitting here with this. Um, and so it's like perplexing. I have a book that has Sylvia Brown's face on it over here. And she's saying, I know about that, too. I was like, oh, OK. Um, the Christians, she's just talking about like the different religions and how some of them got it right. But but others didn't. And she says, like, here I am now. And she's not religious, though. Um, and she says that what she grew up oh no maybe her mom tried to raise her in church or something but something going on with her dad or something it like didn't happen that way or like there was a split or like she peeled off from it and then she never actually really went back again and then she's just talking about her situation with religion and she says that was she huh yeah you you were bad growing up you were bad stop it she's talking about like boys coming over and that's okay i was too <laughs> and she says that she would shake their hand or something and um maybe they would want to hang out with your dad more than they would want to hang out with you sometimes i have no idea why or maybe the dad was like the cool one and i'm here for it i understand that and uh she says ah, it was always a little party i go i like it with you um why weird did she have really bad lungs or something or what is all this about yeah she she had um where it all kind of started is cancer yeah. she was a smoker yeah uh, oh and a drinker and yeah. she was in the hospital and they found cancer in her lung hmm. and that just started everything the whole yeah. okay the whole thing <clears throat> Yeah, she keeps making me have this burn right here and here. Like, it's almost like a sensation of pain, but it's not actually there. And then I, I keep asking her, what happened? Can you show me? And at first I was thinking maybe she had breast cancer and she told me they didn't have to cut off her tits. And I said, okay, well, that's good. And so then she keeps making me feel that. Which is well, that. my, my she... dad had lung cancer. Oh, he did? Oh, okay okay and he didn't like to wear his oxygen he didn't oh he says he looks like a fool he says that she goes like this and she says uh he, she just got your headphones but she put it like an oxygen thing in my head and she says and you didn't like to wear oxygen did you he said looks like a fool i go okay he's all about appearances and what <laughs> How? Baby, 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 you got a great house. You got a great family. You got all the good things. He's talking, she's talking about you. And you, she just doesn't think you should worry so much. She just doesn't think you should like get nervous or anything so much. And she says that, tell me, do you actually have a large bathtub in your, in your master? I do. Oh, use it more. Well, she says, um, she says, you know, she actually has a big bathtub. I said, really? Not a lot of houses do, even like masters. And she says, yeah. She says, tell me, use it. I go, okay, I will. <laughs> and she, she's talking about what? She's 
She calls your dad, you old fool. Like, she's just, like, joking with him. She loves him. But she says, you old fool, come with me. But it's, like, in a loving admiration way, not in a bad way. Um, hold on. Oh, man. <sighs> you poor thing. Interesting. Did your dad ever tell you that he, like, didn't want you in his life? No, but we had a pretty rough patch. He just goes like this. He shows me with these very almost like beaten, like, like um, a feeling of like being beaten or something like that. Not physically, but like emotionally. And he just shows me like these bloodshot eyes and he looks at you. It's almost like I'm looking through his eyes. And he says, I should have never like told her that in a feeling way, like I didn't want her to be a part of my life or I didn't want this to be a part of my life. And he says, I should have learned from that or I learned from that. <clears throat> it's making me hard to breathe. And oh man, why did you? So he never actually went to the military. Mm -mm. Mm. He said, all of my buddies went off to the army or something like that. And he says, and I didn't. He didn't. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He got he out of it somehow. This. Yes, that's what he's saying. He says that, that um, I said, do you have any like military tattoos or anything like that? That's the phrase that he says. And he, what? Why? He really battled with, like, he's he has a cane in my head, which is weird, and um, but he doesn't want to use it. So maybe he was dealing with a lot of balance issues, but he was just yeah. like still trying to be. Yeah, that's all he says. He's a stupid cane. I don't need that. And I was like, okay. So he's dealing with walking around. I'm fine. He says he's fine. He's fine. Hold on. Who had Buddy? Dog. Dog. What about dog? Dog. Mm. Do you have a... No. Is there like a... I don't know. I don't know what this is. You don't have like a dog like the size of a lap, right? Now? Yes. Mm -hmm. keep yeah. Oh, you do. So, oh. Yeah, we're we were a dog oh. family. So okay, okay. Yeah, he keeps having uh it walk around your house and like past your couch. And so for me, I'm like, is this dead or is this alive? And he keeps going dog, 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 dog. And he um like your mom comes up and like grabs this dog's head and says, Oh, hi, hi, buddy. That for me is just like a dog in my head. And he says that, tell me. What? weird you don't have anything that was like kind of like a german shepherd face like german shepherd face pointy nose yeah um, like the pointy with the pointy no yeah interesting um like almost like a mal malonese or malonese i don't know what they mm -mm. call that um i'm gonna put that because i see this dog in my head physically so that means what i'm calling it a dog it may be for somebody else so we're gonna put that right there he tell me what what what, what? there's two of them in here with your dad um but they look like little sacks of potatoes that's all the energy looks like is like a sack of potatoes rolling around. Um, and so I'm like, okay, sack of potatoes, what are you? Do you remember what you were? Can you tell me about that? And then those are the two things that I got. Hold on. We'll continue on. We'll see if I can get some more in there in a second. Hold on. One. Jonathan. Who? 
your mom is trying to talk about Would they ever go to, like, actual bars, like, out to, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to call it a country bar, but, like, what, is that a thing? Okay. Yeah. She's talking about having fun. She's talking about, like, flirty talking with people like that. And she's talking about your dad, like, not paying attention or doing something else or whatever this is. And so that's, I don't know why. Maybe, like, that's, maybe their version of heaven is a party. That would make it complete makes... sense. Yeah. <laughs> like their their version of heaven is it's like I'm in this place that I can only it has um those soft red, green, and yellow lights, like that look like Christmas lights, but they're not, but they're just kind of mm-hmm. like muted because the bulb is painted and it's all up around. And then it's almost like there's all these tall tables. If you walked around on peanuts or something, so that means a little bit less. And then there's all these people in here and she keeps talking. The people and like coming back and forth and so there's like this little party bar thing going on she come here they're trying to show me something but i'm gonna have to ask them to like move over here hold on does like one of your kids have a nut allergy mm. they just made me taste peanut butter and jelly and they said weird allergy and i'm like oh Okay, interesting. So I would even say maybe there's something that goes along with one of your kids coming up that they develop like some sort of interesting thing. I'm not saying it's peanuts because that comes from birth. Yeah. But I would have to say just like keep that in mind. Um, It's even like because my whole symbol for peanut butter and jelly is like something benign, something that we would eat every day, something that would be like a normal thing for like school lunches and stuff like that. Just like watch out for that. Or maybe if they start complaining, um, they say, tell me, come here. One. Hold on. Where? Weird. With with your dad. Hold on. Your mom is talking about how, did they end up, like, having to put him in some sort of, like, rehab center or something? Or, like, a center to help him? Not, like, old person home. Or what is that about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He had to go to rehab. Oh. Okay. Okay. She goes like this. She says, your mom's talking to him. And she says, I bet you're glad to get out of this rehab center. And and he was like, what? And she says, yeah, I know. You hate it. Or you hated it. So they're having this conversation. Um, and your dad says like, well, because nobody else could help me. Or nobody else could help me out. And I go, okay. And he's walking around and he's talking about how much he hates it. Um, he, come here. Why? Old, crusty self. So were you... So what, were you living like an hour away from where your dad crossed over at? How far away were you from? I was a couple hours away. Yeah. Okay. Because they're talking about you getting a call or if somebody were to call you and say, hey, something's going on. You're like, hold on, hold on. I got to go drive. I got to go see him. And it takes that amount of time. And so you're just waiting for it. And he says that you got to see him or you got to see him like right afterwards or something, but you got to see like his old crusty self or something like that. Um, so I don't know, but he doesn't say that he's staring at you. So did you like see him after? No. So we don't know what happened. That's one of the oh. things I, if he's willing to share. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He goes like, and maybe that goes along with like, um, post-mortem on some way, but I don't see you seeing him at the funeral home. I don't see them doing a, uh, vigil or any yeah okay yeah so i don't know who saw him and his old crusty self so we'll get into that hang on but he did talk about you getting a call and like driving and getting a call and figuring that out yeah he come here tell me dad what what, 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 what. why
he is talking about passing away in like an awkward thing. Um, hold on. So did did we end up finding him? Like, like had we made? He goes like this. He says, "I'm up." So he's not laying in bed when he dies. Um, he says, "Like I'm up," and then he says, "All it felt like was this." <gasps> And then he talks about like, like falling over, or, like slumping or something like that, which leads me to believe that he's like not laying in bed. Um, and then he says like somebody finding him in like the most awkward of situations or positions or something. But it almost feels like we're a wet piece of paper and we crumple up. So, but that huh, is something to do with that. Hold on. Weird. Did he end up like, I don't know. His awkward situation. He didn't die in the bathroom though. Because that's my, that's my symbol for awkward situation. Um, did we just like find him in like the living room? Like on the floor? Or like, what is that about? Because he's in a dark room in my head, like walking around. But it, that's all he keeps saying. He, he was at a independent living facility right. in his room. Uh, which is kind of just like a studio, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And they said that they found him on the bed. On the bed. Okay. Do you know if he was slumped over? No. Oddly yeah, enough, it was the one time my sister was out of town also. So neither of us were there um, to be there. Okay. Okay. I'm wondering if, because he's talking about um, going out like that. I think he was awake when this happened. I think he was fully awake or like fully conscious when this happened. And so I'm wondering if he like sat up and he keeled over or if he was sitting up when he passed away, just because of how he made me feel that. Um, it almost makes me feel like it's weird. It almost makes me feel like it goes along with like, just heart failure like but he doesn't have active heart failure you know um i know but it feels like and then he keeps talking about uh substances but i know he didn't take anything i know he didn't he I mean, that's he is that a thing he keeps saying substances yeah what is that about um he no was idea. on a lot of drugs uh pain medication and other things mm. um on the tail end of everything and yeah. So it, and I think he was probably smoking weed in there secretly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I would have to say it would go from like lungs and heart from not only being sick and having cancer, but also taking these substances, and it's just a, a triple wham boogie that just caused them to cross over, and his body couldn't help it. Um, but he's talking about what an interesting and odd situation it was. Um, and yeah, all he kept showing me is like this little tiny living room space. And so was the bedroom in the living room, like yes. all together. Yes. Okay. That's why. Yeah. Cause he's just in the living room. That's it. And that's all he keeps showing me. So I would have to say what he just wants some um, Stevie Ray Vaughn. I don't even know who that is. Uh, playing Stevie Ray Vaughn. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? he's a blues musician and a guitarist and we used to listen to him together stop that's crazy yeah that's cool okay I had a can I tell you about it so I had a I had a best friend in high school named Stevie Ray and then when I go to California there's a grocery store named Vaughn's yeah he just flashed his face (laughs) and that and I'm like Stevie Ray Vaughn's so yeah so Just wow. know, he goes like this. Your dad goes, he says, man, you know, at least when I um uh sunk over that I could be sitting there smoking some pot with some Stevie Ray Vaughn on like, mm. he says, but it didn't happen that way. I go, oh no, sir. And uh, yeah, that's how your dad is. He's fine. He says that it was embarrassing, um, but like your mom was there to get him. Okay. Your mom had showed up, like was there to get him. Um, 
that's why she called him an old man. That's why she called him an old man, so that she could, like, grab him and take him home. She says, tell me. Why? So when she ended up passing away, he got even heavier into the smoking and into everything like that once she crossed? No, he crossed before her. Oh, he crossed. Okay, so that's why. Oh, okay. So he was waiting there for her. Okay, that's why. He keeps saying, like, she says, I saw you. I saw you. I was there. I was there with you. And I'm like, what does this mean? So it's afterwards. He keeps saying that. Tell me. Come here. What? What? Oh, what? Oh, man. What? I have no idea what that means. Um, You are not planning any, like, trip to go to a zoo or, like, an animal sanctuary anytime soon, right? Or something? Yeah. They showed me a red panda, like, with the red face and, like, the rings yeah. and stuff. Unless somebody's watching that movie that's named Red or something. Give no, me, yeah. about a year ago, we were at the San Diego Zoo, and they I think oh. it was the San Diego Zoo, and they had a red panda, and we thought it was the coolest thing. Okay, okay, yeah, they're talking about zoo, and they showed me red panda, and I was like, what is this? And both of them had already crossed over at this point, too? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I can only imagine, remember how they were like with you outside running and they're doing all these activities with you. So I can only imagine that they're with you during that as well. Okay. okay. And it was a very fun, exciting thing. And they're talking about how, what? What did you love? Your mom is a romantic. Your mom... I want you to watch The Little Mermaid. I have no idea why. Like, we need to add that in for some reason. Um, what? Did your mom just like good, like, Disney princess movies or something? Huge Disney fan. Yep. Was she? Disney, okay. Hallmark. Okay. So when you said love, you know, mushy gushy, yes. <laughs> that's totally her. Yes. Yes. All I heard was this. She goes, man, Ariel. Ariel is it. And then she goes, little town. What a quiet village. <laughs> and she adds that in. And I'm like, okay, okay. So she's talking about what she loves and what. I know you can be Ursula now. Wait, tell me. Who? Did did she have a male cat? Mm -mm. Was there like a male outdoor cat? Okay. Odd. So I'm going to tell you one thing and I just want you to look out for this there may be something coming up where you find and I don't know why you'd bring it into your house I mean you can if you want to but like you're gonna find a male cat that has six toes and that's gonna okay. go along with your mother I don't know why just wait okay. and it almost feels like it's a orange and white one so like a tom cat or maybe she's just trying to show me tom cat which is always orange and white in my head so you'll just have to see um, but it almost feels like you find them when they're older. So like over a year old and like, that's how you're able to pick them up, but it has six toes. It's polydactyl. And so just send me a picture when that happens. I okay. don't know why. Okay. <laughs> and what? Who? Did you have your son in karate ever? Yes. Oh, <laughs> She goes, he needs to go back in karate. He, he needs... was just saying that he wanted to get back into it. Yep. My husband's looking for studios by us. So, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, that was so, she, she had him roundhouse kick. And then she put, she had him grab a belt and go like that. And she, she does all that, like that one second. And what? I like your session. Your session your session is good. I mean, every session is great, but like your session is great. It's because how relaxed you are and you know about this and you know the the vibe. So that's why it works. Um, what? Hold on. I just have to figure out where they want to talk. Hold on. What? No, you don't. Hold on. Why are you eating that? 
Hold on. Hold on. Nobody likes Twizzlers. Um, did like so, did mom? No. Does somebody walk around eating like sour rope candy or something? Or is there, she keeps showing me a thing of like a red long like that, but you can pull it apart. And for me, I guess that could be taffy, but she, you're not over in um, New England, which is where saltwater taffy is. Um, I have Twizzlers and she just made me taste it. And I'm like, you don't like Twizzlers. Um, she did. My mom loved licorice. Oh, and she Twizzlers. did. She liked, she, did she? Yeah. Did she? Oh, okay. Yeah. I can hear her going, you know, when you like can pull it apart. That's what she's doing. She's walking around eating that in my head. And she says, I know I'm weird. No, you're not weird. <laughs> um, what? She says, get a tattoo. Get a tattoo for us. She says, put it in flowers and put it all over. Just big. That's amazing. And I'll tell you why. So why? after both of our parents passed, mm -hmm. I had told my sister that we should get matching tattoos. And I was going to draw it and create it. And I started to sketch it out. And it had a lotus as part of it. And it was all about family and coming together. Uh, we never got it yeah. done, but I've I've drawn it probably thirty five different times. So do it, yeah. She put a flower, and then she made it big, and she's just like, "Yes, please do it." Okay, okay. all of it. And she's talking about how she goes, "Oh, and I'll be there when you get it." And oh, it hurts. That's what she keeps saying. <laughs> And she's talking about what? Fingers. She like can't put rings on. Like she can't put rings on. Or like she was having an issue with them. She's talking about my hands. And hold on. Did the other one get her ring? Did like the sister get her ring? So I, I got her wedding ring. And I lost it. <gasps> Stop. That's why right it's not with you. Well, she, she goes like this. She says, oh, and the ring. I said, what? And she says, oh, this big honking thing. And then she goes, oh, she doesn't have it. She gave it away. And I don't know if you'll be able to find it. I don't think you're going to be able to find it. It didn't happen in this house. You didn't lose it in this house. I no? was living. I was living here. Um, yeah. I I don't know. Uh, well, it was a very. It was a twenty four hour window where uh, I think I know where I lost it. One of two places, yeah. but I. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I asked her. I said, "I go. So is it in the house? Are we going to be able to find it? Because you know that can happen." And she goes, "Nope." No way. No way. And I go, okay, didn't happen here. And I go, okay, fine. And she says, you still have the same cars. Weird. Do you like take it off to wash your hands? I would sometimes. Okay. She goes like this. She says, there's a weird thing of like taking it off to like clean or taking it off to clean your hands. But me, you know, if I have like a wet nap or something in the car, I'll do that. But she's talking about in the car. So maybe we've lost it in the car. I don't know. What is that about? So I lost it, I believe, in the car, in my truck, in yeah. the grocery store parking lot. And I didn't realize till after I had gone to the grocery and come back that it wasn't on my hand. And I thought, oh, I should call someone at the house, see if I left it on the counter. And yeah. then it went missing. That's why. That's why. Okay. Yeah. She keeps talking about your car. And then she says off, off. And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe we're cleaning. I don't know. Um, so she's just talking about the situation. And yeah, I don't think you're going to find it. I don't think you're, maybe look for the truck one more time or just wait. We'll see. Okay. Just wait. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what? Who? She has one. Do 
Do y'all actually have a ton of family pictures? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. She goes like this. He says, and tell her she needs to get to work on those family pictures. I said, what do you mean? And she shows me like a clump of them or something like that. And then, but she puts them all into albums. And then she says, like, you're the one that is going to like pass them out to people or something like that. <laughs> and uh, she says that, what is it? She says that you're the one that has to take care of this. I, so when my dad passed, he had a storage unit that had just so much stuff in it. And in that storage unit were suitcases filled with pictures. And they're now in my closet. And it's a task that I know that I have to do. <laughs> yes, that's you. Okay. Yeah. She's just telling you to go do that, take care of it. And she put it all in there. And she's talking about going um, through the albums. And she's, why? Did she? No. Did you have a lip ring? Mm -mm. Lies. She put you as being very edgy, which is very funny. And for me, edgy was a lip ring. And I'm like, what does that mean? And she makes me hear, I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. <laughs> which is just another song from like, you know, TikTok yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, I think she's trying to talk about high school. We're just going to put that there. And um, what? She just loves you. She loves you. She loves you. She loves you. Ow. What? I have no idea. But did she actually call you Al or Allie oh, instead? Uh huh. Ah. Okay. I said, what did you say? She goes, Ow. Well, you saw me. That's where that came from. And I go, What? She goes, oh, come on. And she says it again. She goes, oh, this, Al, Al, oh. she's just talking yeah. about it. She says, like, how much she loves you. And you know I'm here. That's how she says it. Okay. Um, have you? So her mom is crossed? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Making up. She says, me and my mom are like coming together or me and my mom are like making up or me and my mom are getting back together. And she says, oh yeah, they're all here. Not here, but they're over there. And I said, oh, okay. And she says, we have them all here. Um, she's talking about God being a thing. She's talking about um, what? She does like horses. She does like the way they look for some reason. Um, she's talking about, but she never had horses though, correct? She didn't have them. No, but we would go horseback riding. Oh, can I tell you what she's saying? So she, so my, my uh, office that I'm in, there's a big picture window that's out here and it looks off to the front of my property. So like the acreage, it goes up and down and she goes, you know, this would be a really good place for horses. <laughs> yeah. I like them. It looked perfect over there. And I go, Oh, well, thank you. I said, do you like them? She's like, Oh yeah. Go, oh, okay. Did you have them? No. Okay. Yeah. So your mom is here and she loves you and she'll have a casual conversation with you. Your dad loves you too um your dad is being a, a a funny funny guy even though what i asked him does he want to come back again and he says hell no hell no <laughs> like no absolutely not i get it but he does love you and <laughs> oh was was the sister your sister easier to get along with with him than yeah. you Yep. Yeah, he says, and tell her sister she's my favorite. I go, shut up. You can't say that. And uh, he says, no, I love them both, but she'll know what that means. I go, oh, all right, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, he they're just wanting to let you know that they love you both. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, they're very cool. What question do you have for me, if anything, before I have to run to my next session? Sure. Can we see if he has anything to share about jewelry? And oh yeah there's yeah, yeah, something yeah. in particular okay. that i'm okay. curious okay. about hold on hold on Let's see where is that what I
I can tell you it's gold. I can tell you it's gold. Um, and I can tell you the way he makes me feel is like it's big and honking. Like there's some like weight to this thing because he's making me feel it in my hand. Um, now, why is this thing like ten thousand dollars? Probably. Yeah, he says it's like a roll, like this, like the the how expensive a Rolex would be. That's what he's equivalent to in my head. But I don't necessarily think it's a watch. Um, I think it goes into. I don't know if it's a really like heavy duty ring or if it's a really heavy duty like it's almost like links like it feels like links to me or like somebody to do with a link or something i don't know um so that could be uh because remember i haven't seen every single type of jewelry um why do you have an eagle what does this thing have like little like encrusted diamond things on it no diamonds but it, there is a design yeah it is a design okay yeah he goes he's talking about um he shows me an eagle. I don't think it's an eagle, but that's what my dad. My dad had like a necklace that had an eagle on it or whatever it is. And what? Weird. I don't know what that means. I don't know. He's going back. So maybe he has like matching. Is it a necklace? It is a necklace. It is. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So maybe he would wear something that would like match it on some level or something. Oh, shut up. There it is. Oh. There you go boom yeah yeah he knows about it yeah so he's trying to talk he, he was doing that in my head and i'm like just fucking <laughs> tell me that's what so he's talking about both at the same time that's what it is so yeah he, he knows what why don't you sell it not now wait for five or six more years if you want to what's going on with that necklace it's missing yeah, that's what he, he says. He says, not I, I I said they should get the cash. He says, Oh no, they can't get the cash right now. And I go, Oh, okay. Somebody pocketed it. Pocketed it. Pocket. Weird. It's in the sister's house? The sisters somebody did it? Is that the no, thing? No. She was supposed to get it from that's him why. when he Okay. Yeah, he shows like a, a random, and now there's multiple things. He showed me a thief, so he showed me somebody come up and going like this and walking away. That's all he did. Yeah, who was that? What happened? Um, we think that it was either one of the facility staff who found him. Oh, yeah. Or the coroner yeah. who yeah. picked him up and brought him. Yes, that, that one. The coroner? That, that one. Yeah, or one of the people that was with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. That's because he suspected. kept showing me. Uh huh. He showed me a guy in a black jacket, and a uh, black jacket would not be somebody that works in a hospital for me. They would show me a scrubs. Okay, so yeah. So what do you do from there? I don't know. Rake his ass over the coals. I don't know. So we'll have to see. But don't worry, he's not mad. And uh, I don't know. Maybe you should go look into that. Okay. Awesome. So I have to, I have to I run know, to my next I know. session. Amy, podcast. thank you. If you, you're welcome. And okay, you know, email me if you need me. I will. Okay. You're the and best. Thank you for letting me channel your parents. Thank you. Okay? Appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay. I love you, baby. Bye.